Okay. All right. Um, so the SETI base, uh, in addition to needing rewiring, uh, the Vasetti base had a crack here and a crack there. So I worked some glue into those and I clamped them up with this uh, picture frame clamp and let that glue up. So now this should be ready. Uh, and I'm going to put our block. back in here. Now is this the, yep, this is the plug plug end. The hole for this is very, very tight against side there. snug and now I'm gonna put the cord both the electric cord and the cord for the controller through this hole I need something slightly narrower than this to push that in. Let us try. There we go. There we go. One. And now we'll just push the other cord in and through that slot. Now those two cords come out on the side of the box here instead of trying to share. This hole on the back of the machine. So So the cord is back in the box and I'm going to wipe the machine down before I put it back in here, but the cord is in the box and that is a good step forward. Alright, I have wiped down the Vesetti a bit. Then I went to put, remember the belt was all stretched out, I went to put the belt on. And I noticed that the belt pulley does not line up. This uh, pulley is offset and the motor should be back that way a little bit. But then I looked carefully and this bracket is bent up and there's a curve in it out this way so that when you look at the back of the machine, the motor has a tip like this. So at some juncture, someone really bunged around on this motor to get that belt tight or something and they bent the bracket that the motor is on. So I'm gonna try and straighten that to 90 degrees so that the pulleys will line up better. All right, I gently bent this bracket here. 
I also checked these two screws. They lighten up or loosen up and obviously you can slide through, through there but they're already adjusted as far back as they'll go, which is the direction that we wanted the motor to travel anyway. So they did not provide much help, but I think by bending that bracket a teeny bit and straightening it out, we have lined up everything a whole lot better. I'm gonna set this as high as it will go and just give it a little little twist to hold it. And then when we get a belt on there, we'll loosen it up and let it slide down. But oh yeah. That adjustment means that this belt lines up properly now. So I'll be able to throw a belt on there and it won't be rubbing from being tugged off to the side. So, all right. I guess we'll have to set this up into the case and start giving it a proper test.